We're back with another figure unboxing, and this time it's the Assault Tank Commander from Rogue One. Welcome to Mando Collectibles. So here's this week's figure unboxing, and this is, of course, MMS 587. This is the Assault Tank Commander from the Rogue One line. Now, you're asking, why have I bought a Rogue One figure? Well, one, it's a trooper, and two, I think this will be a great companion piece for the transport trooper. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to grab this because it looks a superb figure, and uh, I can see this one becoming a quite a collectible piece in the future. So let's take a look at the box. And of course, we've got the usual band around the side. Now, this is, I'm assuming, the Rogue One style of band with like an, a drawing, a sketch uh, of the actual figure itself that continues round the actual bottom of the figure, as you can see. And then, obviously, on the back, we do have all the relevant information, the warnings and such from Z companies. So nothing new there. But let's just take a quick look at the front of the actual box itself. And this figure looks absolutely incredible. Really, really nice figure. And uh, I reckon there's going to be some great detail on this figure. So there we have it. There is the front uh, and the complete box in general. So what we'll do, we'll take off the cover and take a look at the inlay card. So here's the inlay card for the Assault Tank Commander. And yet again, another fantastic picture of the figure um, not the greatest of dynamic poses but realistically this guy doesn't need it he looks cool whatever pose i think you're going to stick him in some great detail there another fantastic art picture uh, and the inlay card as per usual so just a nice short uh, look at the inlay card so what we'll do now as per usual is take out all the accessories take a look at those and then take a look at the figure straight out of the box so here are the very minimalistic accessories you do get with the Assault Tank Commander. And firstly, we'll start with, of course, his four extra hands, including the two that you get with the figure. And then next, we do have this, which is, of course, the typical E11 blaster that you get with most troopers, which is pretty decent. And then last but not least, we have the stand. Now, you do get this extra bit of card you can stick on the standard base. I think it looks impressive with that on, so I'm going to leave it on. And then finally, we do have this extra piece that you can slide onto the front of the base. And to me, it's just a bit of wasted plastic as far as I'm concerned. Some people like it, some people don't. But for me, it's a definitely a no-go. So there is all of the accessories that you get with the figure. So we'll now take him out of the box and take a look at the figure straight out of the box. So here he is straight out of the box, the Assault Tank Commander. And first impressions of this figure, it looks absolutely amazing. It's a fantastic looking trooper. So let's firstly move in to the helmet. And I've got to say, the helmet design is awesome. Absolutely love the helmet design of this trooper. Also, some great paintwork and weathering. And you can just see it's got serious battle damage on this helmet. Moving down, all onto the arms. As you can see, really impressive battle damage and scratches. On the armour itself, this tank commander has seriously been through some uh, wars. Also on the back, you can see really, really great battle damage. Now, obviously, the bomb is attached firmly to the belt for a change, which is uh, probably a better idea, to be honest with you. I think that's a really good idea that you can do that. Um, also down this arm, yet again, some great battle damage and weathering. On the front chest... Of the armour, you can also see some really great weathering effects and some great detail on there. Down to the trousers, the standard grey pants, uh, which the shore troopers do wear these as well. And then finally, down to the boots. Yet again, the front of the boot. Some great weathering and detail there. Now, it's surprising that you get all the way down and you got hardly really any weathering on the boots, which is quite a weird thing, but regardless... They still look pretty impressive. Split cut boots, so you can put him in some decent dynamic poses. But overall, very, very impressed with this trooper. He is one I'm very happy to add to the collection. 
and is going to be a great companion piece to go with the transport trooper. So there he is, straight out of the box. Now what we'll do is we shall now pose him and then add him to the collection. So here he is, the assault tank commander in his pose. Not the best of dynamic poses, but a menacing one at that. I think he looks absolutely awesome just standing there with his rifle just below his waist. And uh, as I said, when I get the transport troop out, these guys are going to look absolutely awesome together. But uh, overall, this figure is an amazing looking trooper and definitely one to add to the collection. I wouldn't mess about with this, especially, of course, if you collect the Rogue One line. Uh, because I can see this figure becoming very, very popular, just like the Patrol Trooper from the Solo movie, uh, which I still haven't yet got. But overall, absolutely awesome figure. Very, very happy to add him to the collection. So let's get him standing with the rest of the Troopers, and then we will then bring this video to an end. So here is the Assault Tank Commander in his place in the collection with the rest of the Troopers. Awesome looking figure. Uh, I do have another troop out, which I will be opening sometime next week. I had two of them turn up last week, and I just haven't had the chance to open them. But this one is on the shelf at last, and I just cannot wait to get the transport trooper to stand next to him. So there he is, the assault tank commander. Very, very happy to add him to the collection. So there we have it, another awesome figure added to the collection, and that is, of course, the assault tank commander. From Rogue One, yeah, I know he's a Rogue One character and he's nothing to do really with the Mandalorian. But boy, is he going to look great standing next to the transport trooper when that one comes out. Hopefully within the next couple of months. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to be waiting for my one because I ordered it from Sideshow. So no doubt everybody's going to have it probably about three months before I get mine. Just like my short troopers I've been waiting for. But regardless, very happy with this figure. Another awesome trooper added to the collection i do have another one that's ready to roll and unbox now i had that one and the other trooper that i'm about to unbox sometime next week um come last friday i just haven't had the chance to obviously unbox them but i do have another special item coming next week which i'm really looking forward to getting i've waited a year for it to turn up so it might be a couple of videos next week we shall see but regardless thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this yet again another awesome unboxing of a trooper to add to my mandalorian collection and as per usual please do like thumbs up and please do leave a comment but remember only if you want to i'll see you in the next video